G'day guys, welcome back. I had to climb down the ladder and go around the table. Look, it's so big today, a big canvas. Right, if you haven't already gathered, I'm gonna do an acrylic pour. I'm gonna do a big swipe, kind of along the lines of that African safari that I did the other day, that one. So gonna be similar to that using the decals, but it's gonna be uh, like a, a wintry, snowy, sort of a sunset kind of a pour. So, <laughs> um, I'm going to use this canvas here. It is 20 inch by 40 inch, which is 50 centimeters by 100 centimeters. So that one, it's a big one. Now these are gonna be my colors, purple, green, turquoise, light blue, mid blue, dark blue. So they're going to be my colors. So I'm going to be working down. This is the bottom. <laughs> I just painted the bottom black and the top black. Um, just because when I do this, this is my decal that I'm going to be using. Fits on there really well, actually. It's really pretty. So see how it's got the black on the bottom there? So I'm going to run it up to this black bottom here. I may actually put a little bit more on. I'm not sure. We'll see what happens. Now, <laughs> you know when I did the African one, the African sunset, the safari one, and I had trouble with the um, getting the decal off, and everyone says to me, use transfer paper. And I'm thinking, what's transfer paper? When I actually opened that one, it came with a piece of clear sticky contact. And I thought, what's this for? Chucked it out. And this one, and then once you guys all said to me, you're supposed to use that. And then this one's actually got the three layers. It's got the clear one there. It's got the white one there. And then it's got the, um, the decal. So I'm going to do what you guys suggested this time. I'm going to pull the backing off, place my decal down with, I guess that's what you're calling transfer paper. See, I'm learning something from you guys. <laughs> So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to try and paint some snow on these. So that's what I'm going to do. I may have to put a little bit more black on the bottom there. Actually, I think I'll just do that real quick. Put this down here. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit more black on the bottom there. I'll be right back. All done. It's just my usual pouring medium, my 60% glue, 40% water, and then I've mixed that one part paint to one part pouring medium. Where am I gonna put these? No, I'll leave them here, I guess, out of the way. And I've cut up some bits of paper towel and I'm gonna swipe with those. I'm gonna go this way and I'll wet those. I've just got my spray bottle with water in it. I'm just using the uh, Montmartre acrylic paints. No silicone oil. When I do a swipe, I would normally do one and a half parts pouring medium to one part paint and add silicone oil because I want cells, but I don't want cells today. So I've kept it thicker. I've done one to one, same as I would do with my flip cup pour. So hopefully it's going to be thicker. All right. So now my trees are going to sort of come to about here, but there's going to be blank spaces in between. So anyway, I'm just going to get started. I'm going to start with the lightest color down here first, like so. I'm not going to use it all for now because I find that I need to like add little bits later on. All right, so that's my lightest one. And then this one is going to be kind of blending there and then this one will be blending here the darkest one the navy will be at the top We'll have a little bit of other colour at the top there, but basically that'll be the, the navy up there. I'll have a little bit of the lighter one in it. Like so. And then this one is the mid-colour one. Again, blending a little bit. 
like so. All right, now what I'm going to do, actually I should get my little, use a palette knife, because it's a big canvas, I'm just going to use this to spread the paint, rather than try and you know, pick it up and tilt it. So there's no reason why you can't do this. And then as I'm doing that, I'm kind of blending it as well. It's almost a swipe, isn't it? I was actually tossing up, maybe swiping with a palette knife. Because you do get some really pretty effects from the palette knife too. But I thought, no, oh, I'll just stick with the paper towel swipe. So I'm just going to do this and then once it's all covered I'll have a look and see what other colours I want to add. My um, puppy pedal pad only, only, just, only just fits in there. I'll probably have some cleaning up to do. Um, now, I really need to add, I'm going to add a little bit of, a little bit of this one. I just want like little streaks of colour through there but not too much little streaks of colour. You do get that variety of colours, don't you, in your, in your sunsets. So we'll just have little bits. Whoa, that's a big bit. Big blob. Alright, now I'm going to need more of this one down here, I think. It's going to, because that's my, my purple. Hopefully, I'm not going to lose all the purple behind the trees. That was my only sort of worry that I was going to lose all the purple behind the trees but you probably just see a little shimmer of the purple a little hint of the purple that one's empty um, now I'm going to try and spread that purple out a bit if I can because that's the one that I want down the bottom so I'm just going to spread that It's been a while since I've done a big canvas like this. It's always nerve-wracking because it's such a lot of paint wasted if you don't, if it doesn't work out. Hopefully it will. All right, that's that done. And let's just spread that. best as I can. The sticker's going to cover this bottom bit up, so I'm not too concerned about that. Okay, that's that done. I want to get all this paint on onto the surface. That's that lighter blue one. I'm done. Okay. Now this pale green, this one is called, um, this one is aqua green and I added a tiny little bit of yellow to it. So kind of the purpley greens down here and then getting up to the darker at the top there. The 
doesn't really matter what it looks like at the moment because you know once you've swiped it it's going to change one's empty i made up 1.2 kilos of paint for this so it's a lot of paint so hopefully it'll work nicely um might leave it a bit lighter there and put a little bit of this one just here you don't have to have exactly the same all the way down so it'll be a bit lighter there and then we'll hit this and it'll get a little bit darker mm. Whoa. just trying to get all the color out at the moment Tiny bit of this blue left. Um, I don't know if I should put any down here. I don't think so. Right, I might just go for it and see what happens. I've got a tiny bit of blue left, tiny bit of green left. Right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt this way and that way just to cover the sides and also just thin the paint out a little bit. On the canvas so I'm not left with too too much so I'll just lift that there and let it run down and over the edge the middle's running faster gotta bring it back this way so I've got somewhere to put the paint when it lands okay so that's gone over beautiful now do the same on this side push it that way and then I can Lift this and we'll go all the way back. Put a little area there that I've missed actually. I'll do that. Wipe the drips off. How's it looking down there? Has it gone over yet? Not yet. All right. Okay, that's it. It's gone over. Now what I need to do is just recenter the paint a little bit into the middle and touch up this little bit here that I've missed. Oh, look, there's a bit of purple for me. Yay! Wipe those drips. All right, now I'm going to wipe my hands and we'll get started. Gosh, this is nerve-wracking, you guys. I wish I had a bit more purple, but what can you do? Let me take some of this purple up here a little bit. So you can move your colour where you want it, but yeah, it'll just be sort of poking out behind the trees, I think, that bit of purple. All right, are we ready? Got my bits of paper towel. I'm just going to spray them down here. I'm just going to torch this just to make sure we've got no bubbles. And the other thing I want to do is oh, stop at you. Behave yourself, please. Um, the other thing I want to do is just make sure that there's no lumps and bumps. Because once you once you've swiped and you've thinned your paint out, you'll be able to see any bumps. So get it out. So if you can see any bits of, <laughs> oh, got it, <laughs> um, bits of dried paint or anything, get them out now. I don't think there's any more. I was pretty careful when I was stirring if I found a lump to um, to get it out. All right, let me come around and make sure we're still taping. This paint's going to drip off on, on, onto the floor. Oh, it's looking pretty. It's looking pretty. Okay, here we go. Are we ready? Oh, my paint's all dripping. I'm going to have a big mess to clean up. All right, here we go. I'm just going to spray the top. Um, actually, I might do it this way, longer ways. I'm going to spray the top. Use the serrated section like that. Okay, now, I'm going to be careful I don't um, 
lean into it. I'm going to do the top first, just in case I do the, the bottom and it's nice and then I lean in it, you see? So I'm going to start up here. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Now, if you wanted to, you could do like a little um, wavy bit in there. You know, if you want a little bit of movement. I pretty much want it straight. Um, knowing me, the way I swipe. I might get a bit of a, a movement in it anyway like that, which is fine. I'm not fussed about that. Um, now the other thing, last time, that's what I did last time, I touched, the, with the paper towel touched the edge there and it kind of went bald on the edge there. So I'm going to see if I can not do that this time, but I don't know. How was that? I may have to do what I did last time is pick the whole thing up and let the paint run down because where you drop that paper towel down um, and it just sits there for a second it kind of makes a dent and you can see the the canvas you probably can't see from there so I may have to do that this ends fine the, pa the paints rolled over but um, the other side is a bit of an issue so I, I, I'll, I'll do that I'll just tip it like I did last time now I missed a bit just here, so I'm going to go up a little bit higher just to catch that bit there that I've missed. Now don't go too fast because your bit of paper might kind of skip like that and then you'll get like a, a bald bit where you've missed. I might have missed a bit just there, but I don't think that'll matter. Alright, that's the blue done. Now into this more of a greenish tone. I don't know about that dark blue line through the green though. That there. I guess it doesn't matter, does it? It's, it's variety. It's for it's natural. It's natural. We'll just leave it at that. The natural look. If it bothers me later. Actually, it does bother me. <laughs> it bothers me already. <laughs> bothers me already. I didn't think it would. I'm going to put that little bit of green just there. Alright, I'm going to swipe over that bit. So you can change things as you go. So it's still there, but it's definitely more subtle. Subtle is the word. So you can change it. Like if, if there's a piece that you don't like, just you know, swipe over it. You won't be able to go over too many times because you'll end up with no paint left. Now this bit here is a bit of a problem. There's a big blob of um, green there. Bit of a big blob of green there. All right. So as I go, as I swipe, the colours are getting more sort of muted. You know, they're, they're blending, which is perfect, which is what I wanted. Now where I've dug, uh, I've dug in with my stick there, look at that. Mm. So you can actually see that, like a, a dent there. And I have to smooth that over. I don't know if you could see it or not, but there was a dent there from the stick. How's it looking, you guys? Is it looking like a sunset? Yeah? Oh, I hope so. I won't, I won't be able to see it properly until I climb up the ladder and have a look from where you're standing. Now, this bit is going to be the last one. So, mainly the purple. Don't go too fast. Pick up all those colours. Ta-da! Oh, look at it! It's so pretty! It's so pretty! Love it. Love it, love it. Now, have I got any of that lighter blue left? Just want to go over this at the top here just to touch. Be careful, I'm not going to drip. Just one more over the top of that one. Just 
because there's a, a lot of the dark blue there. All right, now, suck my shirt in so I don't drip on it. Holding my breath. Okay. Uh, uh, phew. That's better. Okay. Um, that, what about that light stripe there? Is that a bother? Does that matter? No, no, I guess not because look, there's a darker stripe there. It's a lighter stripe there. It's a darker one there. We've blended here. Yeah, I, I should just leave it because I think, you know, me, I, I fiddle too much um, and then I'll, I'll get to the stage where I, I'm not happy with it because I've I've fiddled and I've over swiped. Okay, so now what we need to do is, let me have a look, climb up here. I'm gonna climb up, oh, the ladder, it's so pretty. Is it looking like a sunset? It's dark, but here still bothers me a little bit, but I don't know, does it bother anybody else or is it just me? <laughs> it might be just me. Now, I'm going to, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a little bit more black just on the bottom here. like that. Just cover some of these little marks that I've left, the little purple marks. I'm just going to do some finger painting just with that. I'm just going to spread that black out a little bit like that. Oh gosh, now I've made it. Look at that. Now I've put purple down here. I have to put a little bit more on then, just there. I didn't realise I had so much purple just there. I'm going to do one more little swipe. I really haven't got any more colour. Actually, I'm just going to tear that in half. It's a bit thick just here, just there. The purple's a bit thick. I'm just going to take a bit of it off. Smooth that over. It probably doesn't matter, does it? Because I'm going to tilt anyway. Okay, there we go. Okay. All right, now I'm going to just lift this side up. I'm going to walk this canvas back a bit so I've got somewhere for the paint to go. All right, now, so if you can't see, I'm just going to lift this all the way up. And I want, I just want the paint to flow over the edge. Um, and this is twofold. I need to get rid of some of the paint. And I also want it to go over the edges there. This is not moving here. Got a bar underneath here in the middle that I'm hanging on to. If I leave too much paint on, it's going to take forever to dry. Okay, and back again. This just helps to smooth everything out. Bringing the weight of the paint back to the middle again. Oh, oh there's a blob. There's a blob right there. It would have to be right in the middle, wouldn't it? Okay, let me see if I can get that out. Without causing too much drama. Mm. It would have to be right in the middle, wouldn't it? Of course. Um, where's my water gone? It's going to swipe over that little bit. Oh, do you think? Do you think I need to? It's just if I swipe, then I'm going to end up with another bald patch right there. Get off. I'm going to have to tilt again anyway. All right, I'm going to have to tilt again anyway because of that. Maybe I can just touch it ever so slightly. Let's get that off. Whoops. See what I went I did there? I went too fast. 
Oh gosh, I told you, don't, I shouldn't fiddle. Fiddle, 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 and then I'll ruin things. All right, that's what happens when you go too fast. It, it skips like that. All right, let's try again. Slowly. Slowly. Okay. Whew. I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. Okay. Did you see how it kind of rippled like that? Because the, the I pulled it too fast and it kind of jumped like that. All right. Now I'm going to go back over this side again because I... Just, oh, there's another blob. Oh my god. So you don't, sometimes you don't notice the blobs until you've, you've started thinning your paint out. Because they're like hiding underneath in the, in the deep paint. Okay, tweezers might be better. Gotcha. I'm not going to fiddle with that one again. I'm not going to swipe it again. All right, where was that other bit? Okay, now I'm just going to go over just a touch, just because I've put the paper towel there and it's made a bit of a a mess there. I'll just go over that little bit. I've got plenty of paint, so I can do that. Nearly over, nearly over, nearly over. It's over. Come back. Oh my gosh, I just dripped paint on the floor. I heard it. <laughs> this is going to be a mess to clean up. It's drip, drip, dripping. Okay. Now this bit here, this purple, it hasn't moved. Like it hasn't gone anywhere. So I'm going to have to try and sort that out. I'm just going to wipe that there. Catch the drips. And here, catch the drips, like so, look at my floor. All right, so that's, I need to spread that paint out, but I'm going to use, I guess I could do it now. I'm going to just be really careful with this. Probably the trees are going to cover it. But I'm just going to just very, very lightly That's a bit big. Oh my gosh. Just need that little bit there covered because I can see, I can almost see through the canvas where where I um I pulled the paper towel across. Okay, that's it. It'll dry better, it'll settle. So and um, also we're gonna have the trees across the bottom here. So I don't think we need to be too, too concerned. All right. Oh, what do you reckon, guys? Half an hour. That wasn't too bad, hey? So when the trees go on, um, they're only going to, they'll sort of come up to about here. So that'll be covered, but then you'll be able to see a little bit of this between the trees. So that's my, that's, that was my thought there anyway. Okay. So now that's all. Now we just have to wait for this to dry. Uh, it'll be a, it'll be a couple of days, but I will tomorrow. I'll get the hairdryer out and speed it up a little bit. But for for today, I'm just going to leave it as it is. So, yep, that was that was a big job. I'll see you tomorrow. Well, I'll see you in a couple of days, but it'll just be a few minutes, a few seconds for you. Hey guys, I'm back. It's been a couple of days only been two days and I've been getting the hair dryer out and drying it um, two or three times a day. I didn't want to do it too fast, like too much heat on it in case it cracked. So I just did little bursts of heat uh, three times a day and it's ready. All right, here we go. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I've sort of put more of this part in and not the top. So what I'm going to do, like I said earlier, I'm going to do what you guys suggested and I'm going to use this transfer paper I guess that's what it's called but you just have to if you're going to do this you have to make sure that this is really dry um, the only concern I would have is that the contact this clear contact paper might pull the paint off but 
Let's hope that doesn't happen, hey? Oops, that came off with it. Let's just drag that gently, hey? So I can get all the trees. Oops, that's missed as well. And that's missed. Just do it carefully so I'll pick up everything. This is going to be, hopefully this will be much easier than my previous attempt. You guys will be laughing at me, hey, when I was trying to do that African sunset with the animals and the tree. Uh, I probably did do it the hard way, but I didn't know any better. I mean, I'm no expert. I'm still learning. All right, here we go. Getting there, getting there, getting there. I did choose a very long piece. When I chose the decal, I had a look at to see what canvases I had and what would fit. So there's no point getting a huge decal if you don't have, you know, a canvas that's going to hold it. So, unless of course you buy your decal and then you go and buy a canvas. Woohoo, look at that! I did it, I did it, I did it. Alright, now this is going to be the tricky part, isn't it? trying to put it down. Do I only get one chance at trying to put it down? I guess so. Oh gosh. Now, again, I don't know how to do this bit. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I think it's about the right. I'm just going to have to put it down. I'm trying to line that, the top, that black line up with the top of this black. No, let go, let go, let go. Oh gosh. All right. So yeah, I'm only going to have one turn, one chance of doing this, I think. And hopefully, I get it straight. Okay. Oh, oh, that's it. It's down. <laughs> Probably could have done it better, but it's down. It's just a tiny bit of bubble there that I wanted to get down. I'm sure if you guys had someone helping you, you know, one person could be holding it, the other person it's the plastic, and the other person could be pushing down with the squeegee. Okay. Oh, that's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. All right, now I'm just going to push this. Once I've got the plastic off, I can push it down again but I think it's pretty good you guys I think I did good I think so a couple of little bubbles under here I might be able to fix those later on although it's probably not going to really matter too much because I'm going to put, put snow on these trees so if there are any, any little bubbles underneath um, probably won't even see them all right now let's see if I can get the transfer paper off I hope I've done this right you guys let's see if I can get this transfer paper off and hopefully the tree will be stay behind <laughs> I'm gonna have to push each little point down ah, it's working it's working I might fold that over so I don't have too much of it it's working oh my gosh <gasps> so exciting let me make sure I'm still taping Look, you guys, it worked. You guys are so clever, aren't you, to tell me to do this? I had no idea what the plastic was for. All right, here we go. And it's it's not lifting my paint, which is good. I was concerned that it would lift my, my paint. I guess if you leave it on too long, it might. But because I'm sort of putting it on and then taking it straight off again, it should... On. Let's fold this up so it's a bit easier to handle. Oh my gosh, you guys, look, it's working. Oh, oh my gosh, it's so much easier than what I did the last one. I was going to cut down there and stick a tree on and then cut another one on and stick that down. Ta -da! Oh my gosh, look at that. That looks amazing. You know, you don't have to do that. You can just paint your own trees. 
but um, I just wanted to do it this way. It's for those people that can't draw or don't want to. All right, so that looks good. Love it. See, I just wanted a little bit more black on the bottom there. I may, I may go in and, and touch this black up a little bit more just to make it a bit more black. Because I can kind of see through the canvas, through through to the canvas a little bit, but all right, I'll do that at a later date. All right, are we ready? Now, what I want to do, I'm actually just going to use a stick. I've got some white. And I've just mixed it up the same. I've used the 60% glue, 40% water, and then one to one with my Montmartre white acrylic paint, and I'm just going to. I just want to kind of blob it on so it looks as if, you know, the, the snow has actually just fallen onto it, onto the branches. Now, it's going to take me a little while. So I want to go on the top, on the top of the, the branch, the blackies on the top. Like that. I don't want to hide the tree too much. I'm going to try and just get it on the top. Like so. Hopefully I'm doing it right. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of blob it on, make it look as if the um, snow had actually just fallen there, you know? Because it sort of makes like a collection of Of snow so I didn't want it to be too perfect like you know painting it on I just wanted to like blob it on you know what I mean and hopefully that looks sort of realistic and I'll put a bit down here as well on the ground how's that looking so far I think I need to like join join a few of them though like like this again I don't want it to be too too perfect oh and we need a little bit on the top don't we just a little bit if you make a mistake it's it's just a bit of paint you know you can just wash it you can just wipe it off alrighty so that's basically what I'm going to do so I'm just going to stop the camera now um, and sort of put it on put you on fast forward for the rest of it so that you don't have to watch me do every little piece and I can take my time a little bit more but basically that's what I'm going to do does it look real <laughs> does it look real oh gosh all right I'll see you when I'm done on <laughs> still see the trees but fully laden with snow now I'm gonna try and do something else I've never done I'm gonna try and make some snow you know how you put some paint on um, 
toothbrush and then you kind of flick it. I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm going to have a try. I'm going to have a try. I'm going to put some here. If I ruin it, so be it. But let's make some snow. All right, there we go. So that's just a bit on there. Now, oh gosh, I'm nervous. How do you do this? I've never done this before. Do you pull up? Do you push down? Oh gosh. If I push down, I'm going to get it on my finger. If I pull up, let's pull up. Let's pull up. All right, here we go. Main, let's just try a bit over here on the um, trees first. Oh gosh. Oh, oh. Okay, I need to pull a little bit harder. Oh, it's snowing, it's snowing. I'll get that big blob off. It's snowing, it's snowing. Look at that. It's snowing. <laughs> I did it. All right, let's get that big blob off. I, I like the rest of it. I just don't like the big blob. Let's get that off. There we go. Easy to do once your canvas is dry. You can, you know, take things off. Oh, that's lovely. I like that. Put a little bit more on, stuff the top there. I don't, like, I don't want to overdo it. I'm just going to do this over here so I don't drip onto my canvas. I think a little bit more. Actually, I probably won't put so much on because that's when I got the big blob. Hey, let's take a bit off. All right, let's try again. I'll just do it sort of at the top there a bit. Oh, there's another blob. Oh, another blob. Gosh, must have put too much on. Right, there we go. It's snowing, it's snowing. We have a winter wonderland. Woohoo! I need to get these two blobs off and then I'm um, pretty much done. I don't think I'm going to do too, too much snow. Just a hint of snow. I need to put a little bit over here where I've wiped that. I won't put any more on my toothbrush. I'll just. If I can get a little bit more just over those areas that I've I guess you could put paint on your finger and then do that as well but do a little bit on the trees as well oh my gosh I can't believe it I'm doing it I'm doing it all right a few little pieces if there's another blob went on gosh All right, there we go. Wipe him off. Now I'm just going to have to put a tiny bit more just there. Like that. Cover up where I wiped it. And I think we're done. I think we're done. Okay, there we go. It is snowing. Woo oh my gosh. Oh, I love it. So happy with it, you guys. All right, let's get you down for a close-up. Now the white will stay a little bit raised, which I'm fine with. Uh, you could, if you wanted to, you know, give it a coat of varnish at some stage. I'll do the snow as well down here is what I can see it. It's a little bit more defined down there. I'll climb down my ladder. Let me turn my ring light off. Hang on. Okay, there we go. There's the snow bigger snowflakes and smaller snowflakes and I know they don't look like snowflakes don't give me a hard time because they're not slow snowflake shaped <laughs> they're little dots I like how I've got some bigger ones and some smaller ones all right let's have a look I've got a bit of glare there but let's have a look at the trees shall we I'll just pan slowly over the trees And you know how I was saying earlier that you just see a little hint of the, the purple through the trees? That is exactly what I wanted. And then it gets darker and darker. Um, I was going to paint this black again, but now that I've sprinkled it with snowflakes, I think I'll just leave it. And I kind of tried to put a little bit of white over where the sticker was so you can't really even see where the sticker is now can you because I kind of painted a white bit over it here and there just so that you couldn't see that line of where the sticker was so there we go 
Look at that. That's so pretty. You haven't guys haven't seen it from this side yet, have you? You've been watching me upside down. There she is. I love it, I love it, I love it. I guess I could have put a bit more snow on there, but I didn't want to get carried away. Just a just a little hint, hey? Just a sprinkling. It's a very light snow shower. What do you call it? Snow snow shower. <laughs> it's not a snowstorm. <laughs> anyway, there we go. Alright, guys, hope you enjoyed that video. I did. That was a lot of fun, and I can't pan back any further because I'm standing on tippy toes to try and get up here so you can see the whole thing but I'll take a photo of it anyway and show you oh, I love it all right thank you so much for watching have a go these sorts of swipes for um sunsets are really easy to do nice and easy you don't have to worry about how it's going to turn out it's going to turn out amazing every time <laughs> so have a go and um yeah if you're not already a member join my Australian I was going to say something else, but I haven't got that anymore. <laughs> Join um, Pouring Your Heart Out and um, show me what you do. I'd love to see your, your sunsets and your decals, whether they're African, with, you know, on the, the desert with the animals or whether it's the snow and the trees or whatever. I've got more. I just can't remember what they are, so I'll be doing more. All right. Thanks again for watching and um, I'll see you real soon for the next one. Okay. Love you all. Take care. Bye for now.